Okay. Oh, oh, and there I am. Okay, welcome to another episode of Before You Fuse, the show where I basically give my insight. I, I'm going to look at the skills by myself. I'll watch a video or two about the fusion champion, and then I'll give my honest-to-God thoughts of whether or not I think he's somebody that I'm going to go for personally, or who might be somebody interested in going for this fusion. Now, straight off the rip, he does look like he belongs from a character, or he looks like a character that belongs from that Disney movie, Frozen. Doesn't he look like it? Tell me he doesn't. He might not, but to me he does. When I first looked at him, I thought to myself, you know, he looks interesting. Visually, just based visually, I I want to go for him, but I've been seeing what everybody has been saying through thumbnails and on my Discord about what they think of him. So, it looks like the insight's not too great, or what, what most people are saying about him is not too great. I have his skills here, so we're going to go over his skills. And I hate hearing anything about... Um, anything new that I haven't actually looked at myself because it gives me sort of this prejudice. So I do my best. It's the same thing for movies. If I were to go watch a movie, I don't want to hear anything about it. I don't want to hear if it was good. I don't want to hear if it was bad because it's going to cloud my judgment. But we're going to go over the skills. We're going to watch a movie or not a movie. We're going to watch uh, another content creator to see what they think about it, about the, uh, the champion. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at his skills first and get some water here. Mouth is parched. Okay. Legendary Champion, Ogren Tribes, Defense Based, Spirit Affinity, attacks three times at random with a 50% chance of placing a freeze. So, at random, uh, you know, it, it, it's hard to... The, the problem with random things within Raid is you just can't really um, make it reliable. And because of its unreliability, it becomes difficult. Unless there's only one champion. So immediately I'm thinking maybe Fire Knight. So he could be a decent champion for Fire Knight. Let's see. Crowd Therapy removes any stun, sleep, fear. So all of these debuffs from all allies. So a cleanse, a full cleanse. Then place increased defense and then ally protect. Except this champion. That's on a it books down to a three turn cooldown. Okay, so a full cleanse, increased defense, and ally protect. It's not a bad skill. It's not a bad skill. Um actually, hold on. It's not a full cleanse. Look at this. Stun, sleep, fear, true fear, freeze, provoke. So basically any CC, any CC debuffs, he's gonna cleanse off. But buffs like HP burns and poisons, I don't think are getting cleansed out so that's kind of weird but we'll see i mean the name is cryotherapy spike blizzard attacks all enemies a 100 percent chance of placing freeze for one turn also a hundred percent when booked chance of decreasing turn meter by 30 percent it's on a four turn cooldown mm. i mean i guess i could see this having legs somewhere if you wanted to use them in arena I guess you could start off with the A3. You place the freeze, and you put a, a decrease on the turn meter to push back. So a little turn meter mani um, meter manipulation and freezing. Kind of like Gurgo. With Gurgo, who's another Frozen-based champion, you go with his... Uh, I think it's A2. His A2 will do a cleanse and then place a freeze. So CC, and then you, your your team can go. Yeah, it's it's not a bad skill on a fur uh for on a four turn cooldown though I don't know passive abominable snowgrin it's a four turn uh, four I keep saying fur turn for four turn cooldown so passively whenever an enemy tries to place a freeze on this champion instantly transfers it from this champion to that enemy so he can't be frozen so you know I guess a great counter to somebody like Tormund. Active effect, whenever this champion is killed, revives with 30. So, like Torment, he's going to revive. But then he also places a revive on death. So, the issue with, with um, 
like passive revives or revive on death is in on paper it usually sounds good but usually when i'm using a passive revive or a you know that that type of thing revive on death it doesn't normally pan out well so he seems okay so far i don't know if based on just what i read if it's something that i'd go for quite yet but um let's go see what some of the other cc's are saying about him what was this hope everybody's having a great day today we're going to be looking at the new fusion champion the christmas fusion which people have been waiting for everybody thought that torment was going to be the fusion no no nobody thought yeah you know uh some people were saying that it was a potential nut uh, um, a potential nut level fusion champion coming for Christmas. He doesn't seem like a nut level fusion champion to me. A tournament was going to be the fusion, right? No way they would do us like that. But we got a new fusion, Blizzard. His name is Blizzard the Howler. So this guy is the fusion. It looks like, and he looks pretty cool, right? Design. Looks yeah, he looks cool. cool. Let's look at his kit though and see what he's going to be contributing. So. On the A1, attacks three times at random. Each hit has a 40% chance of placing a... I just want to see if H -Dub will will come up with anything else that, that I didn't happen to think about. A freeze for one turn. So, already seems like a Fire Knight hard champion. Yeah. On the A2, removes any stun, sleep, fear, true fear, freeze, provoke, and petrification debuffs. Then places a 60% increased defense. On all allies for two turn also places a 50 percent ally protection buff on all allies except this champion for two turns and that is on a three turn cooldown his a3 i mean now that i think about it i mean obviously so we're, we're already thinking fire knight hard obviously faction wars if you don't have anybody else but even the faction wars for the ogren tribes isn't that hard this removes stun it's on a three turn cooldown. Increased defense, ally protect. Maybe you could put together a clan boss team. If you don't already have a clan boss team, that's something. Yeah. Attacks all enemies has a 75% chance of placing a freeze debuff for one turn. Also has a 75% chance of decreasing the turn meter of all enemies by 30%. So he's got freeze on the A3, freeze on the A1. Bit of a cleanse in there, but not really. Mm -hmm. And that A3 is on a four turn cooldown. His passive ability, whenever an enemy tries to place a freeze debuff on this champion, instantly transfers it from this champion to that enemy. Whenever this enemy is killed, revives them with 30% HP and 30% turn meter and places a revive on death. And that's on a three turn cooldown also. So this is not like every single time, which is kind of, you know what I mean? Buff on them for one turn. So he has a. A self revive mechanic in there which you can book to a three turn cooldown he is defense based he is an ogren tribe legendary now just at first glance right this guy is a fire knight hard champion right yeah now, we don't fully know what is coming in you know city of centranos the update that is coming. that's true the should be coming any uh, Which, by the way i still haven't seen any footage on the city of centrano so we might actually look at that after this I, I have seen thumbnails on youtube some videos put out about a new um i don't know if he's a new mythical champion or a um a new boss we're gonna have to fight so we'll, we'll, we'll see after this any point right it says supposed to be before the year is out so maybe he's useful there right he's got freeze he's got Kind of a pseudo cleanse, but he's not going to cleanse everything from you. Mm -hmm. A bit of support, increased defense, and ally protection. And he's going to revive himself. I think that he's a solid control champion, right? If you need control in places, but I'm not... Yeah, you know, he he's honestly kind of mid, if we're being completely honest. Even if we're, even if in the, even if we're talking about the new content... I'm pretty sure there's other champions that could do this. There's other champions that do cleanses. Full cleanses, by the way. I'm pretty sure you can get a champion that does increased defense, although... I don't really think that it's completely necessary. Ally Protect, I mean, you have Skullcrusher who does that. 
AoE freeze, you got Gurgo, turn meter decrease. It's not that important. Bringing yourself back, redirecting freezes. I don't know. It's just like a... You know? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sold on him. I don't know if I'm going to spend the resources, which, by the way, are already pretty skint. Like, I, I have... I'm, like, down to nothing, basically. Check this out. Look, I'm, I'm like, low on energy. I, you know, I have this, but, you know, that's going to go out soon. That's not a lot. I'm almost out of shards. I think, honestly, by the end of this, I, I just might pull all of my... Because uh, cause here's one thing that I've been wanting to do, right? I've been wanting to, before the New Year's, pull all of my shards and then go into the next year, 2024, with, like, zero shards. And then save for an entire year and, like, not pull any shards until the very next year. I think that would be a cool thing to do. Then, then it could be like, oh, I saved my shards for an entire year, and this is what I what I got. But yeah, like, no resources. I'm basically going all in for uh, for Tormund. So I don't know if I'm gonna spend the resources for this. Too big on freeze outside of Fire Knight, just because it makes you do less damage. Mm -hmm. um, they have you know this freeze theme with you know Christmas fusion. Generally, uh, you know, aside from the Rat King, he had bombs, but, you know, freeze, 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 freeze. So, yeah, as of right now, this guy's going to be primarily a... Hey, Sean. Uh, yes. Yes, I am going for Tormund because... So, this is where I'm at. Where are you at, by the way? Because I'm at 9... 9.30. I want to see if I'm keeping up in pace with everybody else. I'm at 9.30. I think I'm going to pull my shards. I think I'm I'm going to pull my shards here. But yes, I'm going for my uh, Tormund because I have a plus one Tormund. And I actually have another Tormund. I have another Tormund here. So imagine if I was able to plus three my Tormund. I think he would be my only plus three champion in on my account here. Like, I've got some plus twos, but not plus threes. Do not go for the Christmas Fusion, just keep going for Tormund. That's what I'm feeling, dude. I'm feeling that. Like, I just read his kit. I just went over it right now with a uh, H-Dub, and I'm not too sold on him. I'm not too sold on him. A Fire Knight Hard Champion, maybe counter Tormund in Arena, but who really needs to counter Tormund in Arena? I don't see anybody doing this. F I gotta, you know, Countering Tormund is relatively easy. You have Ronda, you got Romantu. Fusion, because they absolutely want to count. Or just start off by putting a block buff, like um, just have Duchess go first. Counter Tormund in arena, so. Maybe. You're at nine twenty, also nice. Okay, so I, if, if you're on pace, I'm probably on pace too. So I don't think I'm gonna miss out. Because if I can get a free copy of Tormund, why not? This guy, you know, has a great kid for a city of Centronos, but I don't really see him doing anything that champions in the game don't already do. We have He doesn't bring anything new. Now. Well, not a ton, but we got a decent amount of champs in the game now that have freeze on the A1. There are a few epics now that actually do it. They actually just put in one, you know, in the last patch, right? So in Neldor Rizblade. We got... What was he? Is he a high elves? Right there, right there. Yeah. Neldor, Neldor Rizblade. A3, freeze. And it's A1. it's it's at random also, so, but still. You know, Cryoden has a freeze as yeah, well. Yeah, has got one. Correctly. Let me see if we can even find Cryoden. I don't even know which uh faction he's in. Where's where's Cryoden? Is he a dark elves? I feel like I just just looked. Yeah, but everybody doesn't have those champions. I play Labyrinth all the time. It's nice to have another legendary, especially Void, to choose from. Yeah, that's true. I mean, not everybody's going to have um, a Duchess, but yeah. Looked in here. No, that means he's got to be a Sylvan Watcher, Cryoden. He's got yeah. threes on the A1. So the Lego has a you know higher chance. Granted, you can only book it up to 50% chance, but... We've got a few, you know, accessible-ish champs that have freeze on the A1. Yakarl has freeze. Granite 
it is not on his A1. Actually, no, it is. I stand corrected. Your Carl got freeze on the A1. We had and your Carl's a free. Fusion, who also has freeze. Yeah, on nut. The A1. So I don't know that anybody is really going to go for this guy unless maybe you missed the, the nut fusion. You didn't get to get him. Um, and you desperately need a cha uh, you know, a champion that can help you out with Fire Knight. I mean, like, I guess if you if you have the the resources too, and you have like nothing else to do. But I mean, it's Christmas, it's the holidays. Everybody, yeah, hit the like for sure. Yeah, everybody, um, you know, everybody's got a life. <laughs> you know, we've got we've got things to do. So I don't I don't see a lot of us going for um, such a mid fusion. But yeah surprised by some of the polling that we're seeing here let's see what chosen says holiday fusion stuff coming up here in the middle of december and i'm gonna get into that here in a little bit but i do want to show you a funny like two minute clip from stream where we had the ai the premium version of chat gpt grade the fusion champion and i think it'll surprise you a little bit if i gave you a kit for a champion in raid shadow legends like listed all of the abilities would you be able to give me a grade nope. from one to a hundred for this champion as your best estimate let's see if it would be able to oh it says absolutely blizzard the howler a1 uh attacks three times at random each hit also plays revive on death buff on them for one turn boom 85 out of 100 not bad it's like a solid b bad, right honestly it, it, like if i were gonna grade this kit i'd probably give like an 82 out of 100 so yeah i mean for, for me personally I feel like, and maybe it's just because I'm a little disconnected because because I've been playing for almost like five years. But I was gonna give him like a like a like a C, like a seventy. If it, a seventy out of a hundred is is what I'm what I'm feeling. He's not bad per se, but there's other options. It's just not, you know what I mean. Job there by the AI. Yeah, exactly, Sean. Definitely not worth the time. He's not worth the time. He's not worth the time. He's not worth the resources. Nah, especially, uh, you know, there's just other champions who do, who does, who can do what he does. So, yeah. I forgot the cooldown. Oh, oh, I forgot the cooldown of the... A 70, right? Yeah. On the path. Are you, you, you give him a 70 out of 100 too? Yeah, because I, I feel like he's a solid 70, 75 at best. But the other thing is, like, he's a legendary champion, and then you have to get Lego tomes for him. And I don't know about you, but I'm always, I'm always low on Lego tomes. Like, I got one. I got one right now, and that's it. And three mythics. Like, I'm always low on books. Yeah. Passive. Would this change your grade at all? Yeah, good goal. It's on a four-turn cooldown. I'll, I'll, Maybe it books down yes. to three. It says I'll adjust the grade accordingly, but you didn't adjust it. <laughs> Please update your grade score. Oh, oh, I didn't tell it how many turns. Oh, so it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yelling at AI, and it's my fault the whole time. It'd be like that. The AI is always right. Yep. It's always my fault. Oh, I'm sorry. It's three turns. You think you gotta save for the new content because they'll start releasing uh, they'll start releasing champions for the new content. Yeah. The next free champion will. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, don't spoil anything for me yet because I, I haven't, I haven't seen this, this new free champion. After this, I think the next video I'm gonna see is, is, is probably gonna be that one. Yep, 82. 82. There you go. Okay. So we ended up getting to the same place. I said 82, 83. The AI says 82 or 83. Once we hold his hand a little bit. Which I think is pretty good, honestly. That's pretty impressive. Should we see if it knows um, 
I think it has access to look. Um, would you have the capabilities to do this same grading system for Siffy, the Lost Bride? I still don't have a Siffy. Me typing the kit. Can you find it online, etc.? This looks right. I know her. I know one of her abilities is called Whirlwind, Whirlwind Romance. Oh, look at that! It gave Siffy a yeah. ninety-five out of hundred. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I feel it like Siffy's a hundred out of hundred. Ninety-five out of hundred. It gave the fusion an eighty-two out of hundred. So yeah, the AI gave the fusion an eighty-two or so out of a hundred, whereas it gives a champion like Siffy a 95 out of 100 that's not bad i, I kind of typed the kit i spent like two or three minutes typing the whole kit and i told it to grade that champion one to 100 for the fusion which really surprises me because we are only seeing a 17 percent and we're already approaching three and a half thousand votes which means the percentage is going to be pretty stable there around 15 to 20 yeah this looks about right i don't know what the 17 percent who said yes are gonna do with him I do believe that block revive and poison would be very important in this in this this is just a theory. All right, let's see. You you're talking about this one, right? And let's watch this one. Let's see. Zavia. I don't even think I have Zavia. Do I have Zavia? Oh. I have Zavia. I have two Zavias. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, huh? Hello, All right, everyone. let's see this. Yeah, so long story short, no. I'm not going for the fusion. I'm not doing this Christmas thing. MB, what's up, dude? We just came to the conclusion, Sean and I, that this ha not Halloween fusion, uh, ha this Christmas fusion is pretty mid. Uh, it's pretty shit. So, no. Here. Welcome back to Number 8, and in today's video, we have a sneak preview of the new box, Amius the Lunar Archon. This is the final Amius. box, the cursed city of Centranos, and we are going to be not just looking at a little visual of him, which is cool. We have his full skill set. Um, okay. Oh my god, is it a massive skill set? Look at this. This is ridiculous. There's so much. That's tricks, a lot. But that's not all. He has a second form. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I will give you a sneak preview that I have. Been Damn, so we gotta fight this guy? Been uh, doing some test server stuff as well. Can't show you any of that in today's video, but uh, when I first took a look at Amius, I'll probably put up that whole Yeah, you're not going for it either? Test server, I was like... Yeah, Chosen had a had a, uh, a poll. Almost 3.5 thousand. I mean, almost 3,500 people uh, voted. 17% said they were gonna, they're, that they were going to go for it. That's a lot but no, of skills. I, I don't, just gave up I don't think so. It. But we're going to read them all. Not for me. We're going to break it all down today. So let's do it. Again, you can see the visuals look cool. Second form. It's awesome. So very much. Look under raid shorts and you'll see a video featuring numerous champions. Makes me think um, how knowing you don't have to fight him till the end. Raid shorts. Let me type in Raid Shadow Legends. This is the Yuletide. Uh... Rip to mad. Um, <laughs> with a plus four Duchess, a plus four Canfron, a Yumiko. We're going to get destroyed. He's got Stone Skin Duchess and a Stone Skin thing. Okay. Specifically for, um... Uh, what do you call it? Amius? Amius? If you got- if you got a link to a specific video, you can link it. And I'll watch it. Mythical style champion. Right. Let's- It was about- the one up about let's see here.
Look at the one with the dark blue background. Dark blue background. It's an owl. There's this guy. Oh, okay, hold on. Who are all these guys? These are all new... new dudes, right? I mean, this is obviously Blizzard. There's this guy back here. Oh, one of these is gonna be the new free champion. Like, a new... Mythical, or... Are these mythicals, or... Let's check the comments. Sir Nick will get a rival. Who's this guy? I want the, I want the owl, too. Why is the Christmas tree guy we're all waiting for not the fusion? Right? I'm willing to bet that... I'm willing to bet anyone that that little owl-looking thing is the best champion out of all of this. I really want him. Yeah, you know what? I want the owl, too. Kick rocks. Someone doesn't like raid. Okay, there's another video with Metallica, Pytheon, Zavia for the new content. Rip to mod. I heard owl. Hi, babe. Aren't you sleeping? Let's zoom over here. Hang on here. So I think the best way to break it down, let's touch on the generic passives first. Let's knock them out of the way. So My wife heard like owl and she woke up. She's uh, sick, but she she's ha she has a fever right now, but she hears owl. Anything. She hears owl and she wakes up. Here, so almighty strength. Down okay. Skills based on enemy max HP cannot exceed 5%. Wow. Losses max HP. I believe that's different from all the other bosses in the game, which are 10%. Yeah, that's bad. Um, all right, I mean, like, that's terrible. That's a big change, right? You're not going you to come up in, in pain. here with, like, you know, double new to reset and one-shot the guy, right? It's not going to be possible. Uh, well, I mean, not as easily anyway. Uh, so there you go. Cap on Triple reset. Safety, nerfing that down. Now, it doesn't say, and this actually annoys me quite a lot, I will say. Um, it doesn't say, but from my testing, I can tell you that Poison also does massively reduced damage like 10 percent of its normal damage or five percent of its normal damage or something poison is much much weaker i imagine yeah. hp burn it does look pretty good a lot weaker as well frustrating to me that those things are weaker but it doesn't say it i mean if you're gonna put out this much of a wall of text you might that's a lot to read hog and tell us everything uh but that's that's not a unique problem to anius that's a problem most a lot of the bosses in the game take reduced damage from poison and none of them say which is very stupid uh, almighty immunity immune to basically hard crowd control right stun free sleep even block active skills passive skills that sort of stuff uh and immune to hp exchange effects balancing effects cooldown increasing effects yeah this so no nog dar stuff nearly every boss in the game uh nothing too special there. well now it is uh, then awakened weakness decrease the damage inflicted by the boss for each awakening level on the target champion 2.5 percent for levels one to two five percent for three to six stacking up to 25 so taking up to 25% less damage from the boss, that is a huge amount of damage reduction. So that is going to make a big difference. Now, bearing in mind, there is a easy difficulty, a hard difficulty, and there's another difficulty, at least one more coming as well. That's not going to be in the initial release. Uh... Hold on. Let me, let me decrease the damage inflicted by the boss. For each awakening level on the target champion. Okay, so he's going to hit. So the more the more blessings, the more stars you have, the less damage he's going to do to you. Increase the damage received by the boss for each awakening level. Okay, so the more stars you have, the more damage you will do to him. All right. It's also making me think you have to have an extensive roster to put to do this content, which you do. You've been playing for about a year and a half. A Krizia. Oh my god, dude. You got a Krizia? Bro. A Krizia and Siffy are my like two most wanted champions. And Marishka, just so I could have my pair with uh, Taurus. But 
That's crazy, dude. I want a Crizia too. Uh, so that means I would say certainly that harder difficulty, and if they do any beyond that, like yeah, you're probably gonna need some very highly awakened champions. Yeah. It's the same thing they've done for hard mode dungeons. I think for easy, it's probably not gonna matter very much at all, and for hard, even at the moment, they're gonna help, but hopefully they're not gonna be essential. Uh, but we will see. It also he takes I mean, more damage as well. The hope is that that is the case. But, I mean, this thing here is already catering to those who... I mean, let's be real. The, the, more, the more you spend, the more likely you're going to have higher level um, awakenings. I mean, let's just look at the combine for an example. Like, the highest blessing level I have is probably 5 on Razovar. And that's because they... It, they basically gave it as a free um, blessing for some some event they did. They basically gave that away. Same thing with Sun Wukong. Um, you know, I have Rotos at three stars, but I had to save up for the entire year just to even get him here. Like all three of these stars, I bought them. I bought them whenever they popped up here in the shop in the in the Altar of Souls here. Like I didn't I didn't summon it. And I have this four-star Acrisia blessing just waiting. Just waiting for Acrisia any day now. 5% for 1 to 2 and 10% for 3 to 6. By the way, after this video, if you just got here, after this video, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pull all my shards. We're just going to do it. A few sixes, but they're for epics. Hey, some epics might, might do well. There are some epics up to 50 percent now that's pretty massive right doing up to 50 percent more damage from the to the boss that that's is a lot. lot of damage especially that is a if lot. you're not going to be potentially use it I, I still think max hp could be pretty strong but uh, i'm not probably gonna be easy enough to cap out anyway yeah probably super easy to cap out but still awakenings could be very important personally i hate this stuff i hate it yeah same um the reason i really hate it is that awakening already makes the boss take more damage because your champions are awakened you don't need another thing making it do more damage it already does that yep. uh so that that annoys me it's just a sort of um yeah it's it's just an artificial difficulty paywall so I strongly thing. dislike that in both the hard modes and here at least in uh, i know you have a crisia sean i'm saying i i don't have a crisia and that that's the issue here i don't i don't have a crisia fix my hair here i look like a Absolute nerd. Hold on, let me let me fix my face. My hair makes me look like a nerd. Never mind. There we are. Why am I gonna pull on my shards? MB, I'm gonna go into the new year here. It's 12 9. We're we're doing a champion chase also. That mythical champion, the dwarf. Yeah. I have I just I wanna pull a mythical. I have this this five star blessing for whoever this is. It it just sucks. I've been seeing a lot of people pull like high level blessings for certain champions, and some of them are just like, dude, I don't have that. Get a haircut. I need to get a haircut for real. I think I can actually sell these here. And this one too, I think I can sell. Because I don't I don't need the I don't need the one stars, right? I wish I could go get haircuts, but I hate going outside and I hate spending time in the chair. You got do you have the dwarf? Oh 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 another one I don't have. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! What? Yo! What the f Yo! Yo! Wow! Dude! Dude! Fucking let's go. Oh my god. Wow. Yo.
I'm going to crack a cold one for that. Hold up. Wow. That's crazy. Dude. Oh my god. That's massive. That's huge. And I'm only like... Uh, I'm only a couple of, um, what do you call it, champions away. Dude, we're hot. We're hot. We're hot. We're hot. We're hot. We got to pull shards. We got to pull shards. I'm, I'm freaking, we're, we're, dri thank you, R and Jesus. We're going to enjoy this Mother Earth beer here. We are hot. You know what? Let's pull shards right now. Wow. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can count to six. Holy sh... Hold on, I gotta... I got a screenshot and everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, oh my god, dude. That's insane. Oh my god, we're saving that. What? Take care, bro. Crack a cold one. I'll drink one of you. I think it might... Uh, be good luck charm? Hey, hey, cheers, Sean. You're, you're, my, lucky, you're my lucky charm here, too. I can't stop looking at it just like, oh my god. Wow. All right. You know, we're pulling shards. We're, we're doing it. We're the on. Hold on. What are they saying here? Anybody say anything? Congrats. 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 Yep. The new content is going to be freaking lit, bro. 10 pull. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I feel it. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get something. We're, we're, we're gonna get lucky here. I got I, I gotta believe in it. Two epics. Okay. Three. I don't know if any of you guys were playing way back when, but I think in 2019 or was it 2020, they sold Horden, the Epic Champion, for 20 bucks. So you could sure have just buy him for 20 bucks. All right, pulling the voids. Give me an Acrisia. Acrisia. That is not, those numbers that popped up don't look like a Crisian. Or I'll take a Supreme Gaelic. He does, doesn't he? Nope, nope, nope. I've been pulling shards for almost five years. No Siffy. Go on, Siffy. Nah. Who's this? Frenzy the Cackler. Instantly activates HP burns three times at random, places HP burns, fills champion's turn meter, AoE provoke. Increased defense. Each time a debuff is activated, up to 20% resets each round. Huh. Interesting. Torture Helm. We don't want to see you anymore. That's the second Torture Helm today. You don't have Siffy? I mean, you got a Crazy. You you have a Crazy. You don't, you don't need it anymore. You're okay. You have Frenzy to use Spider? Do you use a uh, Frenzy? There we go. There we go. Oh, goodness gracious. Come on.
They were like, you know what, you've, you've, you've already got your luck. Now the real question is, do I, do I pull these primals? Or should I wait for the next 2x? You've had numerous CCs look at your account. I know a guy just like that. RIP instead. <laughs> um, Where are we at for the champ chase? We pulled Shamrock. At least we got the thing here. And we got a Lego book, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trip over that. Wait till after the new content. I'll take your word for it. Let's do that. We'll wait till after the new content. They said end of the year, right? Oh boy. Okay. Well, I mean we got a Shamrock. So I don't even know if I need him for Ogden Tribes. Oh well, you know what? We'll take that. That's an extra 30. Extra 30 accuracy in res. And I don't want to get too greedy. Dude, we got freaking Lady Makage at 6 6 star blessing. That's crazy. It would have also been nice to get where where uh, the werewolf or at least this guy. And pulling him would have been nice as well. Stop pulling. Yeah, no, I'm I'm done. I'm not I'm not, I'm not going to pull. I'm not going to pull these. I'm good. I'm good. Um let's finish checking this out in hard mode dungeons that hasn't been too impactful we'll hope for this as well but who knows it's uh bad design either way it doesn't matter uh, how good it is or whatever let's look at his active skills then and then we'll come to his passives so we'll go through his skills probably in the order that he's going to do them i imagine he goes a three, she's a one two, of the best a one. do you uh, do you have her already i've seen some guys in my my clan uh using lady makage against the hard fire knight now for Fire Knight hard, I'm stuck on, I can't get past Fire Knight hard nine. So hopefully when I get her, she's going to be, be the one. I'm rocking the uh, cardio with Batman. Yeah, the, the two double ally attack. Is what I think is going to happen. I have tested it, but I didn't pay enough Not yet. attention, so I didn't gotcha. notice, but... I think it goes A3, A2, A1. Let's go through them in that order anyway. So Rampant Chaos is A1. Three turn cooldown. Removes any block buffs from Amius and replaces them with block debuffs, lasting for three turns. Three also turns is a long time. Negatively affecting stats. Replaces them with their mirrored buff equivalent. So decrease attack is going to be replaced with increase attack. Debuffs like heal reduction and weaken will be replaced with continuous heal and strengthen, respectively. So, uh, you know, strictly speaking... As a Taurus abuser, uh, I'm, I'm kind of wondering how Taurus is going to go up against this boss. All mirrored buffs last for three turns. Then puts a stun debuff on all enemies except mythical champions for one except turn. Except mythicals. And forces all mythical champions to change forms. Finally, Amius' turn meter fills by 10% for each debuff converted into a buff by this skill. This. So, you, <laughs> if you have mythics, if you have high level blessings you're already got the you're already getting the leg up uh yeah we can take a look at the roster no worries let me just finish uh this this run real quick these ads are on channel zero channel zero used to be nice and quiet but now the the bots are there oh when this is done almost there There we go. Gotta farm that lethal. Okay. So, uh, ba -ba -ba. these are all the champions who are out, who I currently use actively, or I am going to start doing something with them. Except for him. He's new. And then I have uh, more in the vault. The champions that are in the vault are champions that I, I, I'm done working on for now, or I'll get back to them later.
and then of course the epics i pretty much have a good chunk of them i don't think there's any epic that i don't have that's worth mentioning i don't want to say worth mentioning i've got most of them is what i'm trying to say and then i've got copies of pythion And Contra, I can't stop pulling Contra. But I love my wife. But Contra won't leave me alone. And then here we have the, the Reserve Vault. Just more epics and then, you know, rares that I don't use anymore. And then Malekith looked pretty cool. But yeah. And that's that. Yeah, so that's my roster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, no worries. From the top, gotcha, dude. This is all food down here, but here is my main roster. People I'm using, or the champions that I'm using regularly, or I have to uh, do something to them real quick. Like, this is my other Sun Wukong I gotta build out. And then, uh, here's the Master Vault. All these champions are in here because I I'm just not doing anything with them currently. Or they're already as built as I can make them. And I don't use them anywhere else. Pretty much. And you've only been playing for And then here's uh, the reserve vault. That's about it. Yeah, so that's what the roster is looking like. Level 79. Great live arena. I don't actually do live arena that much. And that's a pretty good roster. If you're if your roster is similar to mine and you're only level seventy nine, that's pretty good. Are you a you sound like a spender? You sound like you've been uh putting some money in, man. This move is kind of insane. He's got a move that's very similar to this in his second form as well, but that affects your champions instead of affecting him. This is a freaking textbook of skills. Uh, but that's kind of crazy, right? So you have on your son? No, I have two Sun Wukongs. So there's this Sun Wukong, and so this is my new Sun Wukong, but I'm I'm about to... I just pulled him. I just pulled him um, a couple days ago, and he's going to be my my support Sun Wukong. So, yeah. And then I'm going to have uh, videos out. Maybe there's going to be a speed tune set up here where you know, we don't place debuffs on him on turn one, but after he uses this move, then we can put the debuffs on because obviously if you put debuffs on and he does this move it's a disaster he suddenly turns those into a load of buffs they're going to be difficult to remove he's going to get tons of turn meter it's going to be a disaster so i imagine speed tuning is going to be very important to debuff him after this is why yeah thinking. thank you thank you also, this is he's, he's an awesome he champion stuns everyone except mythical champions for one turn you could resist that you could block debuffs on that stun you could cleanse it off as well lots of things you could do but it's really interesting when he forces mythical champions to change form. I think that's intriguing, for sure. And that could open up some strategy. Yeah, for sure. Like, the boss is going to start in this form, and he's going to do that probably on his first move. So your mythicals are going to flip over pretty much straight away. I think that's actually quite interesting. Um, I think that's kind of a fun way to do it. Uh, I'd be interested to see how that's going to affect teams with mythicals in there. I don't have any, so can't even test it. But, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, is that is a boss for sure. Land, attacks all enemies before attacking. Increase the duration of all buffs and decrease the duration of all debuffs on Amius by one turn. Heals him by 20% of his max HP. Heal increases by 5% for each buff that has its duration increased and fills his turn meter by 10% for each debuff that has its duration decreased. 
again that's quite tricky he's got to potentially get a ton of turn meter so this is is very nasty really um no because so like look i'm in gold i'm in gold one and i've been here for like I don't know, a while. Every time I fight somebody, they got like a bunch of plus four, plus three Pokemon, and I feel like if you, well, I don't want to say, because it, how do I explain it? Like, I haven't really, I'm not really big into PvP to begin with. The long story short is no, I haven't really thought about it, because I just don't really enjoy live arena like that. Like, the arena bonuses are nice. Uh, I pretty much put it everything into put everything put it. I pretty much put everything into the fire knight. But yeah, I'm not I'm not too um I'm not too fond of live arena if I'm being honest. You're at gold four, but you farm live arena. Oh, nice! You're at gold four. Wow. How many? Oh wow, you're doing live arena. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, no, I don't I don't enjoy it too much. I would say heal reduction actually becomes really important here. Funny enough, heal reduction finally has its time to shine because the boss is doing a massive amount of healing. So, hmm, maybe, I don't know. Do you even try to fight this boss with no debuffs? Is that too crazy because of the turn meter he's going to gain? That's a, that's a pretty insane one. AOE attack as well. There you go. Then is A1 waxing potent. Attacks all enemies, increase the damage inflicted by the skill by 10% for each buff on Amius, and heals them by 100% of the I'll damage. be honest, I got lost. I, I got so lost with everything. This is These are so many skills. For these, uh, these two forms together, it makes it almost impossible to be running this. Again, apart from potentially running like Yumiko or something like that, or Kaimar. Perfect, because she extends. A champion with at least some sort of speed tune to debuff him. Like, with the high resist team one at the right time. But I'm not fully sure about that. I don't know. What do you... That's, that's 17 minutes of skills. That's, that's crazy. Um, yeah. You play Live Arena Semi-Auto. Nice. UDK seems insane for this boss. Absorbs the alternate form A1. Heal back some damage. Healing him assists himself. Morgane's busy, uh, biggest regret, I didn't make this fusion. Morgane, Morgane, nah, Morgane seems legit. Protection sets at work. The nine piece? Yeah, maybe. Morgane's heal reduction is unremovable. Yeah, some people are saying Morgane then. Aeneas the pirate. Force school prevents stuns. Thanks for the breakdown, nubs. It's Ash. Crixia is another mythical champion. Like I, I would, I would love a Crixia. Hear me out. Warwick Wormblade might come out of the vault for this. He's immune to stun and doesn't do debuffs. Yeah. If he isn't immune to turn meter reduction, it'll be easy. Two allures, Nut, Newt, Yakarl, and a Flex champion, Dark Fey 2.0. Making a boss overly complicated does not make it a good boss. Shave down these abil abilities could have still been a strong boss. Two pages of skills seems excessive and overly complicated. Yeah. It's like NAS uh, NASA spending millions on a pen to write in zero gravity. And Russia just using a goddamn pencil. Player a week ago. Addressing rumors on Awakened Champs for this content, you only need a certain amount of Awakened level teams... Uh, team wide to access the boss, not any individual champ reveals the boss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't require any gonna flatten exactly. Yeah, pretty much. Kutrexa? Yeah, I got Kutrexa. But I don't have any what do you call it? I don't have a what do you call it? What do you call these books for her? First 20 legendaries, but you have so many in the vault that are good. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of these guys stay in the vault just because I'm not actively using them. And uh, they get in the way when I'm looking for certain champions. So yeah. There's that.
Okay. Well, that was uh, that was the before you buy, plus a little bit more. I gotta go, because I'm gonna play GTFO with my friends and my, uh, and my brother. So, I'm gonna hop onto my other YouTube account, my other YouTube channel, and go play some video games that are not raid there. So, Sean, thank you for interacting, hanging out. Hopefully I see you on the next stream. Might be tomorrow. Who knows? Thinking about doing account takeovers tomorrow. But we'll see. And anybody else watching this, my advice is probably skip this Christmas fusion because uh, he doesn't really seem all that great. Unless you have nobody. I'll trade your vault for my vault. I'm uh, going to have to respectfully decline there, sir. But yeah, so I'm going to head out. Everybody have a good one. Peace.